what is up guys, Toolcare Reviews here, and today I'm going to be looking at the Roxant Pro Stabilizer. Now I got this stabilizer for about 60 bucks on Amazon, which compared to other stabilizers is insanely cheap. Most of this type go for around 600. This stabilizer supports cameras up to 2.1 pounds, which includes most DSLRs. Just like any other stabilizer, this one too takes a lot of time to stabilize. However, once you get it nailed down, you can get some pretty awesome shots. This stabilizer doesn't just stabilize DSLRs, it also works for GoPros and iPhones and any other camera pretty much. But this is what the product itself looks like. It's pretty simple and small, although after a while of holding it, it does get heavy in your hand. So what you're going to find on the stabilizer is on the top you have a few panels where you can place your camera. It has a standard tripod mount that can pretty much go into any camera. Just below where you mount your camera you have five different options where you can place the handle. This just matters for the weight of the camera and where you displace it. In the front the metal curves over and attaches to a bottom piece. The bottom piece can be attached at four different spots by using a screw-in method. It can also be slid around to preference. They have a really good system for connecting this. They have a grippy rubber on it so by tightening the bolt it locks down really securely. And in the very bottom you're going to find the place where you put your weights. It comes with three different weights so you can match it to your type of camera, but for my DSLR I use all the three weights because it's a heavier camera. To stabilize the stabilizer you pretty much just have to move all the parts around until you get it how you like it. Of course the video results on this aren't perfect, it's not like a motorized gimbal, but they do look good. For example here's a walking shot with the Roxamp Pro. And here's the same shot, handheld. Now here's a running shot with the Roxamp Pro. And here's the same shot, handheld. You can see that it doesn't look amazing, but it's still so much better than handheld. But the Roxamp Pro actually stabilizes it enough that in post you can stabilize it with your video editing software and it looks really good. Just for example, here's a running shot with the Roxamp Pro. And now here's the same shot, but stabilized in post. Looking at the price point of this product and comparing it to how higher end ones work, I'd say it's definitely worth the money. But you just have to know that you can't expect silky smooth motion like you'd find from a Ronin. For that, you're just gonna have to spend $3,000. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys next week.